Hi, I'm Phil. Let's find out how we can have fun with these little guys. They're called clothespins, and you'd be surprised that lots of kids don't know what these are until they come to school, and we use them to hang up wet art projects. But you can do a lot with them at home, so come around, and we'll talk about it. Now, you can buy these at the dollar store if you don't have any layering around for a dollar, and you can use them to make all kinds of literacy things for home like this. You can put letters on one side, maybe a capital on one side, small on the other, and you can make a matching board. And you may have noticed that I'm using old cardboard. You know how I love to use things like cereal boxes, cracker boxes, and my favorite, disinfecting white packages. And you can use this as a matching puzzle. This is fantastic in the car or anytime you need something to do on a rainy day. But if you want to take literacy a step further, you can do more. You can cut out things like pictures from magazines. If you have an old puzzle, you can use those pieces. A game that doesn't have the parts anymore or real things. And you can match the word with the object and put them together with clothespins. And if you really want to go literacy crazy, come on over here. You can develop a word wall where you can take the thing and the word, put it together with a clothespin, and make a word wall on a string on the wall. Fun to do easy to do, get ready for reading, and it doesn't have to cost a lot. So make a word wall, have fun with clothespins, and we'll see you next time in the Star Room.